Question 12. These shapes have been drawn on a grid of centimetres squares. Part A, Section 1. Write down the letters of a pair of shapes that are congruent. I see this show question showing up an awful lot. Congruent means identical. They can be rotated, turned on its side, but the angles are the same, the area is the same, the size and measurements are all the same, but rotated is perfectly fine. So if we look at these ones, we've got several that look like they've been stretched or skewed or enlarged, but B and D are the exact same shapes that have just been tilted on their side. So B and D are both congruent. Part 2 asks us to write down the letter of a different pair of shapes that are similar. Now a similar shape means that it can also be enlarged. This one's the slightly trickier one because we have to make sure that all the measurements have been enlarged if there is an enlargement. For example, if we looked at A and E, they both have this arc shape. The problem being that the gap in the middle there is 2 and the gap in the middle of this one is also 2, so nothing's been enlarged. The two shapes which are the same but with a little bit of enlargement would be G and E. Every measurement, every gap has been doubled from G to get to E, so they are both similar. They're the same shape, same proportions, but one is an enlargement of the other. So they're not congruent, they are similar. Part B. Find the perimeter of shape D. So perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. It's not the squares that surround it, it's not the squares inside, it's the length of the lines. Whatever method you use for this, just make sure that you don't count the lines more than once. For this, I'll just dash them off as a count. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the perimeter of shape D is 16 centimetres. 